So today we're cooking some peppers. So you've got to, of course, remove any bad parts like this. This part is twice the capacity of this one. And I've put one small pepper here and I will attempt to put three here. The main key is to, to make this full and do not add any single bit of water. Indeed, if you have to spend more than one day after the first day, it's best to remove some of the juice this, that the pepper is going to release. Remove the seeds. Okay, this is as full as it can get. Okay, I guess it's done. Silicone dabs for isolation. This is a pile of debris for it to make soil. So this one is going to read ambient, ambient temperature and this one is going to stay inside. For this kind of cooker, which doesn't have the silicone tabs, I made this sort of thing. It was a part of a greenhouse made from a big water bottle, but the plastic melted, wobbled and uh, turned white, so it didn't work. So for now, we'll use some oven bags. So according to the fan panel instructions, now this setup is for low sun. I'm going to turn it for high sun. And for high sun, I should raise this lip up with uh, some kind of box to put it underneath. 28 degrees ambient temperature Celsius. It's reading 40 because I, I left it on the sun and it just uh, warmed up too much. I will bring it back uh, when I return. I'm gonna check the weather forecast to see how much radiation we have today. I didn't have to use an oven bag for this one because this solar cooker already has a greenhouse effect. And I'm gonna put the thermometer on the shadow. There are lots and lots of tips of things you can do to improve your performance. Those are the cookers. Yeah, it's gonna be a sunny day. And uh, I didn't enlighten the cookers with the sun perfectly because I don't wanna come back and forth. And I just want them to be at the right angle in about an hour or so. So I just came back to add some weights. Just like that. It is important, believe me or not, because these things do catch the wind 
or any breeze and if they turn over you know it's like turning upside down your meal once I was cooking peppers the juice of the peppers just ended up inside there it was a mess almost ruined the kitchen hopefully it's made of plastic but um, you know the pots they are in watertight it's a, a very messy mixture to have hot content they are expanding you know you don't want that at all